Um, let me bring up the very first speaker, uh, Samson Ujmail. I call him Sammy. Uh, I've seen him in action in so many different settings, but just really uh, a, a guy that's on fire for God. He's a digital strategist with Great Commission Ministries in Ethiopia. So I just hand over the time to him and to share with us, you know, kind of going digital in light of COVID-19, but also being light in the city, all right? Sammy, go ahead. All right, so uh, this is Sammy from uh, Ethiopia. Uh, so I'll, I'll quickly, uh, since we are in Africa, we have uh, one of the challenges that we have is connectivity, but uh, regardless of the connectivity challenge, we have always been working creatively uh, to find ways to connect people to Christ, identifying uh, where people are and uh, intentionally finding ways to help them uh, connect with Christ. So um, uh, like uh, we had one, one church leader who was supposed to be with us, uh, Gizau, he couldn't make it. Uh, but I, like, I would love to share one of the things that, uh, that, that excites me because as, as, as in this COVID-19 crisis time, uh, many churches are forced to respond to understand not only the importance of digital, but also uh, the urgency of them engaging in, in this digital ministry. And this church with less than 200 uh, uh, members are responding in a great way. They are using Facebook live stream, WhatsApp, Telegram, SMS in a great way to reach out for, 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 for not only their members, but they are also reaching out for people uh, because this is, I believe uh, this is the time where uh, the message of the church is even much more relevant than before because most people are fearful and uh, we, have, we have that hope to share for many people. So in this time, as, as, as I continue to the next slide uh, where um, uh, like as, as Simon was saying that in, in Matthew 5:54, uh, it says, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. In Ethiopia, we have a, a strong growing community of indigenous where different technologists, digital practitioners uh, consistently uh, finding ways uh, where people are so that we can bring the gospel to them. So in this time where uh, even like the government was looking for creative ways to bring the awareness, to bring uh, the awareness of this COVID-19 uh, COVID virus, the prevention, uh, like uh, different awarenesses to the ground level people at uh, God have given us the grace to respond in a great way. So the government organized a task force group technologically to respond. And uh, five people out of our indigenous community leaders were part of that community, uh, that tech community uh, leaders group. And that have grown into now more than 900, develop more than 900 developers have uh, developers, designers from different parts of the world that have engaged to respond to respond for this challenge because our tech infrastructure, the health infrastructure, we know in most of our countries are, are, are not that good, but with the aid of technology, we believe that we are, we are helping the government to battle this challenge by building awareness, by giving them the right uh, tools in, in fighting this challenge. So as, as, as Christians, we are playing our role in being on the front line to, to battle this challenge, not just only uh, by, by doing some of our Christian actors, but also to go there, help the government, help the people challenge this crisis in many ways. So uh, like uh, the major platforms that we use, uh, uh, that we are using are like WhatsApp and uh, the different, uh, uh, different instant messaging environments. I'd love to share you as, as, as I finish uh, my part of um, share uh, to, to the next slide about uh, like our, 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 like my friend uh, whose name is Ndala, who I've been trained to be, uh, to do digital ministry, uh, I think three years ago. Uh, now he is a WhatsApp pastor. He pastors a church of 300, a church of God. And uh, they they came from twenty countries, and uh, you you might think of, uh, but I'm I'm sure in this time people they 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 don't ask uh, that why not they 
they, they go to the physical church. But these, these people mostly, they don't have a way to go to the physical church because they live in, in, in Arab countries. And uh, in, in, in this WhatsApp church, he have helped uh, more than 138 people to receive Christ, which 89 of them are part of their church. They are discipled in WhatsApp. They have uh, singers, like leaders in different ways, Bible study leaders. They are doing it all in WhatsApp. Apart from that, going to the next slide, you can see, uh, on last Christmas, they have raised resources, they have shared resources to support the local people in Ethiopia. Some of the people who don't have resources to support themselves, they supported them for a year. So we can see the church can exist in WhatsApp, in Facebook, in, in online environment, because uh, this, uh, these borders doesn't hold the uh, uh, the kingdom of God, and we can see how we can be the light in the city. We can use the tools that we have in our hand. So uh, I think uh, this is all. If you have any questions, I will be available.